Hey guys, Emma here. I wanted to do a quick demo today to show you guys how to floss properly. I have a lot of patients who tell me they don't floss, they don't like to floss, they only floss if something is stuck in their teeth, or they use the floss picks. And none of those are particularly effective. We really want to be flossing every day with string floss. So I wanted to do a quick tutorial today to show you how to do it in case one of the reasons we're not doing it is because we don't know how to do it properly. So what you want to start with is string floss. So you're going to get a piece about as long as your 18 inches, give or take. Then what you want to do is you want to tie one end on your dominant middle finger. So for me, I'm right handed. So I'm going to tie that onto my right middle finger there. Okay. And that's tied on there pretty good. So it's got a couple of loops on there. I can pull, move everything. It's staying on there. Then you want to take your non-dominant hand and you want to wrap it once around your middle finger there. Okay. So what that's going to allow is for your other fingers to be free to do the flossing. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our I like to call these my crab claws, our crab claws free. And on the top teeth, we're gonna push up with our thumbs. And on the bottom teeth, we'll push down with our fingers. That lets us put only two fingers in our mouth at a time. So people whose hands might be really large or mouths are really small or unable to open, this gives us enough space where we can still get in there and do a good job. So once you get in between the teeth, you wanna push the floss down. And then instead of just going up and back, what you wanna do is you wanna go in between the teeth, and hug each side because our teeth aren't they're not flat they're shaped like this so if you just go up down you really kind of miss this whole section so what you want to do is come down kind of hug each side hug the side on the other one and then come up then the other key important thing is then you want to move your floss over so you're getting a fresh piece each time if you're using the same piece of floss each time you're just moving the bacteria from one area to the next we're not really reducing the overall bacteria load so that is why we have it tied tight onto one, loose onto the other so that we can slowly slide and get a new piece each time. You see how that works? All right, now that we're ready, let's go. You'll want to untie it from that finger and you are done remember even if there's no tooth next to a tooth like on your last ones you still want to floss the back side of that because your toothbrush just can't really reach it super great now that we're nice and flossed we are ready to brush good luck guys let me know if you have any questions or any problems the floss i chose to use is the burst expanding floss i like that floss because it's black so you can actually see the stuff come out. I think it's a really great for beginners to be like, wow, look at me, I'm doing great. Um, I also like that it expands. So when it gets wet in between your teeth, because it expands, it pulls out more stuff. And that's really the name of the game, guys. We don't want gum disease, we don't want cavities, and we don't want bad breath. So happy flossing. I will put the link for that floss in the description with a promo code for a discount. And again, let me know if you have any questions.